Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Texas Fly Fishing Report. This is the companion YouTube channel to www.texasflycaster.com where you can go to find highly detailed information about fly fishing in Texas. Hey guys, hope you had a great week. It's January 21st. We just passed MLK weekend and it was quite the uh, one for the books. I have a slideshow that you'll see at the end of a few images that came to me from two different locations, vastly different. Uh, one of the locations was Louisiana Marshes, courtesy Danny Scar Scarborough. And the second one is uh, the 3M sent me some photos from Beaver's Bend, Oklahoma. So we range from bull reds last weekend to uh, beautiful brown trout, rainbow trout in Oklahoma. Um, this is kind of a uh, look forward, look back episode. Uh, we're looking back at that, of course, and then we'll look forward. And I've got a little little shot. I think I've got some video here somewhere from the Airstream trailer. So that's going to be an integral part of the future of uh, the Texas Fly Fishing Reports. And please stay tuned for that. We'll just fade off to that and show you that at the very end and then show you the slideshow. As far as the conditions are um, kind of lining up right now, we've got rain here in North Texas and throughout a good part of the state, even over to Houston. And it's a cold rain. I hear the pitter pat right now on my roof here in my fly shop. And um, what you're going to find, I think, is a really interesting setup where the pattern's going to repeat itself. Just like MLK weekend was perfect, the weather was great, except it's going to happen during the week next week with a big warm up. Uh, after this rainy couple of days, we've got water here in North Texas. I'm in Denton, Texas. Uh, we've got water here that is running off into the ditches. It makes me very happy to see that the the uh, the drainage is is almost half full right now, and that water's running off from Denton. It runs off into uh, Lake Dallas, but otherwise, north of town, I'm sure that there is water running into Lake Ray Roberts as well. So we'll we'll be checking on those lake levels, seeing what's going on on the lakes. You know, of course, there's not much action right now because every the temperatures are way down, and it's a typical uh, winter doldrums for North Texas. Of course, the further south you go, the warmer it gets, and the the more activity there is. And of course, there's more rivers and everything else too. So we're kind of out in the in the desert here and I try to provide an oasis of information for those of you interested in nearby in North Texas but uh, if you have any information for me from around the state that would go well with uh, what we're trying to do here with the Texas Fly Fishing Report uh, weekly hopefully and, and if not as often as possible. Uh, what we're trying to do here is actually provide information from all over the state about fly fishing, which kind of, you know, it's fishing but fly fishing. So if you're just fishing uh, with any other methodologies and, and you uh, have some information, definitely uh, if, you, if you send that in, we can translate into what, what we can do with that on the fly or, or cannot do. But usually uh, there's a translation there where we can convert uh, whatever you're throwing, whether it's a... Uh, uh, a lure of some type or a, uh, a plastic worm of some type into a fly that works really well. Coming this spring I'll show you some flies that work really well for bass and, and imitate a lot of the things I see on TV on these uh, wacky bass fishing shows. So anyway, thanks for watching. Look forward to uh, the rain clearing off here uh, like Friday night and then having a good sunny day Saturday and Sunday and hopefully as this water continues to flow and we get some more regular rains like this we'll have a good um, sand bass run in the spring and, and on in the spring with the lake levels going up. Don't forget that I also have brought back from the dead the uh, Wednesday water report for talking about water and water conservation and water waste and things like that um, as it applies to Texas and other areas and I probably if the weather holds will have time to go out and show you a, an interesting spot where you can get a kind of an idea a visualization of how much water is missing from Lake Ray Roberts in this case. Thanks for watching have a great weekend. Hey how's it going? Thought you might want to see the Airstream trailer finally in all its glory or in glory or whatever you want to call it. It looks pretty inglorious actually. But uh, it's been parked here for a while here at AMP Vintage Airstream outside Cottondale, Texas. And I was going to have it ready in time to go to uh, Beaver's Bend in January. It's January, so it's obviously not ready. But I uh, figured you might want to see it and it's probably 
Well, it's broken down. Uh, actually, we're on the build back here. We got a new floor. We have got uh, new insulation going in, and of course, we got an air conditioner sitting there and refrigerator sitting over here. So, we got a lot of stuff to put together on it. But uh, I figure in a couple months we'll be out there and broadcasting from the trailer, the Airstream trailer. So here it is. I know you don't like it, but uh, final product will be really likable and very comfortable. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching this episode of the Texas Fly Fishing Report. Thanks also goes out to the sponsors. If you need more information, be sure to visit www.texasflycaster.com. And if you have any information about fly fishing in Texas, feel free to share it, and we'll be glad to get it on the report.